No way! This is nuts! Hey guys, welcome to TechFlow. Welcome to a whole host of new videos about teching out my new gaff. I got a message through from my energy provider two days ago and it said, in a month's time, your energy bill is gonna be doubling. And I don't want no doubled energy bills. Now this power bank here is called the EcoFlow Delta 2. I find myself using a device like this in places where I wouldn't even think. The battery inside of here is called an LFP battery and it's basically what you can find inside of a Tesla. I have some switch bots stuck on the front of my older one so I could remotely toggle the power on this unit. So my ultimate plan with this video is to basically light up the entirety of my new garden. But the thing is, I don't want to do it by using power from the grid. I want to do it via solar using these batteries. Now, I know you can buy pre-made solar powered lights off places like Amazon, but they're usually absolutely awful. So what I went and did a couple weeks back is installed all of these 240 volt LED lights. And these are all color changing lights and they've basically got a ring main that goes around the garden. And all those lights in the garden are connected here into this smart plug so that I can control them remotely. Right, let's go and get some solar panels from the old house. So this was at one point my solar shed before it turned into a massive array of boxes because I'm slowly trying to move everything out. And this right here, goes up to my solar panel array, which is on the roof. So as you can see here, I've got three panels. Each of these are 100 watts. This is where this gets really cool because you can see here, we have a Bluetooth pairing button, but it's not just Bluetooth. So as I mentioned before, to control my old unit, I actually had stuck on these switch bots. There's one there and then one on the back as well to take care of the ring main back there. And I also had a CCTV camera set up pointed at the screen of this so I could monitor the solar input and what was going out of this. Now this one, this is where this gets really cool because you can see here we have a Bluetooth pairing button. The only reason I connected via Bluetooth was to give this thing my Wi-Fi password. So now it's connected to my Wi-Fi, I can be anywhere in the world and monitor all the ring mains on this, see the power that's coming into it, see the power that's going out of it into my house or whatever I'm powering and see how much of remaining time we have left. And we can also go into the settings here and change a whole load of stuff, even the AC charging speed and it can go all the way up to 1,200 watts. And this thing will charge zero to 100 at 1,200 watts in around an hour, which is insane. You can plug in USB-C to USB-C and get 100 watts of power from this without having to go up to 240 volts. If you need or want more power down the line, you just buy another EcoFlow battery, hook it into this one, and off you go to the races. So to get like a solar system installed in your house, you need a few things. You need a battery, which are here, detected by these 12 volt batteries. You need an inverter, which will then convert the battery power into usable power in your house to power things like kettles, toasters, TVs, and things like that. And a charge controller, which is gonna regulate how much power the solar panels are putting into the batteries that you've got. Now, a similarly costed or specced up solar system that would have a battery of about four times this capacity is gonna cost you about 10,000 pounds here in the UK. So in my opinion, this is a really good cost-effective way to get started if you're wanting to do this by yourself. And for reference, these solar panels were about 75 pounds each and I've got five of them. It is very overcast right now in the UK. It's half an hour until sunset. So I suppose we will see you in a few days when we get some sunlight. So we have finally come upon some sunshine here in our autumnal UK, which is, well, very, very lucky. Now let's chat solar panels because as much as I would like to say this is easy and very plug and play, it's not. And I have had to do lots of scribblings to try and understand this because there's numerous ways you can install and wire up your solar panels. So let's go through them. Each one of my panels is 18 volts and 5.5 amps. So if we wire these, 
solar panels in parallel and that is by taking all the positives and negatives from each panel and joining them together and putting them into the EcoFlow. That will keep the voltage the same but times the amperage. Now if we wire them in series, which is wire this panel into this panel and then the positive and negative from both of these panels into the EcoFlow, that keeps the amps the same but times is up the voltage per panel that you add. We've covered off series and parallel, but there's one more way that we can wire these things up, and that's series parallel, both of them put together. So, so currently right now, I know it looks like a mess, but this is wired up in series parallel, which basically means we have got one, two, three, four solar panels wired up into this. Now, in the way that series parallel works, you have to have an even number of panels. So I need to buy one more, and then possibly we can have six panels at one time connected into this. So as you can see on the monitor right there, it's got 150 odd watts going in, which is how long to recharge the full thing? Five hours. Five hours to recharge it in winter, which is insane. Now watch if I go and block these panels. Has it dropped? 91. Yeah, so you can see that this, all of this power is coming from the sun. And then if I get out the way, there you go, we should be back up to 150. Okay, so with the solar panels properly configured, my plan is here to use the EcoFlow Delta as the power source for the lights, as you can see right here. So this gets charged up by the solar panels and then stores the power for the evening when I want the lights on. And this smart plug is really important. This is gonna allow me to control the lights and do a whole host of other things. So now we just have to wait for it to get dark. Okay, so it is now pretty dark outside. You can see Atlas in there. If I turn around to the garden, you can see, well, absolutely nothing. In my hand, I have this tiny little remote, which I've rigged up to the smart switch on the light. So if I click it, ha <laughs> ha, look at that. They are so bright. Oh, these are awesome. Now you are definitely not getting results like this with those tiny little really cheap solar powered lights. And then if I hold this, it should turn them off. <laughs> now the main key with all of this solar stuff is to basically not keep things running. And I know it seems like a stupid thing to say, but it really does make all of the difference. If I was to leave these outdoor lights on from let's say 6 p.m. to 12 a.m., it would deplete the battery every day. And this entire project has really solidified the fact to me that in the future going forward as electricity and the cost of living gets more expensive, we're going to need to transition to smarter homes so they can do things like manage our energy usage so we're not paying through the roof. But this has been an awesome project. I hope you've learned something. Mine has been Alex, this has been Techflow, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.